Hello everybody, welcome to Silk Software's B2B desktop demo. I'm going to be giving you a quick run through of sort of the features and functionality that we have to offer here um, in terms of our customizations. We'll go ahead, uh, as you can see we're in Magento 2. Here's our custom module that we've developed for B2B. Um, sort of two ways to look at this. One would be internally and externally. So let's say here's Silk Software, my company. Um, we have multiple distribution channels, and um, you know maybe they be regionally divided. Um, maybe they be divided on a certain type of products that we sell there. Maybe a certain industry you're working in. Um, so uh, you can divide these up sort of internally as well as you can do externally. As you can see here, Apple would be an external company. Let's say maybe they're purchasing our products um, and need some sort of way to communicate with their sales reps um, in our chain. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at kind of the features and functionalities within this account. Um, here you can see a company code that's mostly for booking. Um, here's a company name. Status, so you can disable or enable these as you'd like. Um, here's internal staff, this is what I was just referring to. So this is somebody who's uh, within your company, maybe just a sales manager um, or maybe a certain outlet of stores that you work with, whatever it might be. Um, that allows you to sort of organize it and book it in that way. Here's a general customer group or company group as we've reworded it here. Um, this is pulled directly from Magento. Um, so whatever uh, definitions you have for these user roles will be pulled in here. And they can also be pulled in sort of out of the box uh, with Magento 2 functionality from your ERP system. Here um, is our payment information. You can select um, kind of a, if you offer maybe one payment option for one company, whether that be a net 30 or net 60 option. Um, or maybe you do check and money order for another, um, whatever sort of PO you're, you're, you're working with, you can select. Um, and here are shipping options. Um, we'll use flat rate just for this example. So we can go ahead and take a look at the company account. Within the company account, you can see all the different entities or individuals who make up this company or this account. Um, here they're delineated by three different roles. Admin, which can be sort of considered as the super user. Um, in this example, I'll be referring to manager as more of like a regional manager, somebody who would um, look after sort of the supply, the supply and distribution within a certain area, maybe within a certain um, set of outlet stores. Um, we'll go ahead and stick to that example. And here's a salesperson, somebody who would be at the ground floor um, managing inventory, looking at stocking rates, um, and trying to, find, trying to find the most efficient way to be able to get goods to their stores or whatever they're supplying for. Um, so here you can see you can create different accounts. We'll go ahead and show you what that looks like here. So you can first name, last name, whatever relevant information you need. Here, if you put in a real email address, it'll send a email to that individual so they can set up an account. Um, we won't actually follow through with this. You can set certain addresses to that individual so that they can um, ship to those certain addresses um, and you can also see kind of where they lie here within their role as a manager or a sales manager whether they're active or inactive at any given time whether internal or external staff um, and sort of what company that they connect with at the end of the day so we'll go ahead and move into the front end aspect of this this would be uh, more of a high level admin use um, here we can see more at a ground level what we have to offer um, We'll go ahead and start with our salesperson. Luma, as you can see, this is the company that we've created, so our proxy company as an example. You can fill your name in here, or whatever you might find relevant. Um, so here's our dashboard. We can see my orders. These are orders that this particular sales rep has made. Um, in this scenario, it would actually be quotes that he or she has created because she is a salesperson or he is a salesperson um, and does not have the right to actually fully check out and confirm these orders. Um, so we also have a few fun uh, features and functionality that sort of come out of the box with this, um, with this module we've created. One of them is a quick order form. This is something you can ask for individually as well um, without having this other, these other features and functionalities. So let's say um, you want to look for something by SKU. You can pull it up, it dynamically changes as you work, um, and you can add something directly to cart from here. We'll go ahead and do that. 
and you can see stock quantity as well. There it is, pops up in the cart. So now we can also do the same thing, order by SKU. Let's do 67881. Let's say we only we want three of them. This will give us a submit to quote option as well. You can also um, put in CSV files if you have sort of monthly or, or bi-monthly orders that you do that are fixed and don't change much. Um, here is really where the cool functionality comes in, my quotes. Um, we have a few things in the add to cart here. I'll show you sort of the navigation of the website because this quick order and order by SKU are not the only ways to purchase things. There's actual full catalogs here. Let's say I also want to add um, a few slide dimmers. Those will show up. Here we are. So we have the first initial purchase was of um, one of these. We added three more, and I just added three to the cart. So as a sales representative, I have the option to submit a quote. Here's the quote. Gives an outline of everything in the in the shopping cart. Gives a price. Gives you information on where it's being shipped to. Um, this this would be a drop if I had multiple addresses in here. I could ship to different addresses. You could also check out with multiple addresses, meaning let's say I wanted to send this slide dimmer to one store and another slide dimmer uh, to this low voltage dimmer to another store or another outlet, whatever it might be. You don't have to go through multiple checkout processes to do that. You can do it all within the same process um, and build to the same place. So you can also apply a discount code. Maybe you have some sort of VIP service or you have um, sort of pricing tiers that may work for that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and do a submit order request. And there we go. Now we're in our My Quotes page. We can see the quote number, who it was ordered by, um, the subtotal, when it was ordered. And I can go in here and I can get a quick summary of the quote as well. Give the information, shipping, and billing, everything that was uh, more or less available throughout checkout. So this would be sort of the end of this salesperson's role. We'll go ahead and move to the sales manager. Um, and earlier I gave him an example as maybe a regional sales manager, somebody who has control um, over multiple outlets, multiple sales reps, and needs an easy way to be able to manage and view um, what is being purchased within his or her channel. Very similar look, order, quick order, order by SKU. Um, you can go through my orders. Now, as a sales manager, I can see all of the orders that have come in um, through all the sales representatives that are underneath me. This does work on a hierarchy level. Um, so as if I were still logged in as Bebo, as a sales rep, I could only see and hear the orders that I have per or Bebo would have purchased on his own or at least submitted quotes for. So here we can go down to my quotes. Very similarly, all the salesperson within my channel, they would show up here. Here's quoted by Bebo. Same thing we saw on his own page, but we can now go into view quote, see the same thing, but it gives me an option to confirm and check out. Now I can say, okay, yes, we agreed upon this quantity. Um, this pricing structure looks correct. Uh, okay, I'm okay with that total, so I'll go ahead and confirm and check out. I can validate a few extra items here. Yes, I would like to be it shipped there. Yes, that billing information is correct, and we'll place the order. So now, shopping cart is empty. As a sales manager, I can go back into my account. I can see my orders. And here is the one we just, we just placed, 7393. We can view the order. All right, now you have good information for booking. Um, if it is relevant, you can reorder. Maybe these things are on a weekly or bi-weekly or even a monthly basis. Um, these are, um, are, are fixed purchases, are fixed orders. You also have that option as well, and you can print them for whatever reason that might entail. So we'll go ahead and move into the admin or the super user role. Um, I can imagine this being somebody like a, uh, a VP of sales, somebody who's in charge of maybe all distribution within a company um, who needs a macro view of everything that's going on. 
Here you can see there's, multi, there's a little bit more information. You can go to company information. Gives you some pretty basic stuff. You can actually change the payment methods that are offered for this company. These are things that we saw in the back end up here um, are also available to the super user on the front end, uh, but not all. Uh, we can also look at the address book, which is a new feature. So let's say that um, there are multiple stores or outlets that my salespeople and my sales managers um, are distributing to. Um, and just like that multiple checkout option I gave earlier, you can have multiple addresses within a certain checkout, within a single checkout. And so this would actually be the way you add new addresses um, per these different distribution ends. We can also look at employees. So you can see here are all my employees in the company, delineates them by their role, either manager or sales manager. Um, you can go in and edit the account. You can make them active, inactive. Maybe you have seasonal managers or seasonal um, representatives. Um, maybe you need to hire or ramp up in certain times and, and ramp down at other times. This could be an easy way to be able to control that with the click of a button. Um, you also have my orders. Now, you can see here everything that comes in, whether I'm making a purchase, being I'm Claudio in this example, or another sales manager or sales representative is making a purchase, or the original salesperson that we were what we logged into, whether he's making purchases, I can see that all from my my orders as the super user or as the admin user. Um, we find that giving these users sort of a macro view helps with kind of keeping track of the distribution um, and keeping things on target. That pretty much sums up this demo. If you would like to discuss how these tools will actually fit into your business needs. Please contact either Rene Negron or Michael Payne at Silk Software. We will provide contact information within the description of this video. I appreciate it and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.